Hello my dear friends, I am Cory and in this video I'm going to review one of the strangest and possibly the coolest paint that I have ever used. Till now, I guess. So my dear friends, how are you doing in this 2022? Me? I'm doing fine. Here is basically as it was like in 2021. But with new videos, new stuff to do, new miniatures to paint, new things to try like this video because here I'm going to try exactly a new kind of paint that I have recently discovered. I am the type of guy that always want to try new stuff, new paint, new techniques and this new paint that I have found it is possibly one of the coolest paint that I have ever discovered. The paint that I'm going to review today is the House of Color with a K called Lilac Lilac which is defined as a marbleizer or a paint that basically will recreate the effect of marble after you have applied it on, the, on a surface that you want to paint. The concept of creating a marble effect without have to using any kind of masking like the wet wipes that I have used in a recent tutorial that I have done uh, a while ago uh, it is cool to me. The manufacturer of this paint tell you that you just have to spray the paint onto the surface that you want to paint and then you will have to use just plastic wrap. Basically when you apply the plastic wrap onto the still wet paint uh, you are just going to move the paint around creating some sort of marble effect revealing the color under underneath. So today I wanted to try it out and I wanted to see if it actually works, how the effect will present itself. And I have to tell you that this is a airbrush paint, an enamel paint, so it is not an acrylic. You are not going to thin it down with water or a paint thinner. You have to use enamel to thin this down and you have to use an airbrush. I don't know if you can use a brush. Uh, I think that you could use a brush, but I don't know if the effect is going to be as good as when using an airbrush. And also this is the smallest bottle that they sell you. Uh, because this is not technically a miniature paint. This is a paint that is used for cars. So technically this is a paint that is used in a car body shop, I guess. How, how do you call a place like this? Yes, this isn't a paint technically used for miniatures, but I think that it's going to be just fine. It is just an enamel paint. This uh, bottle is 50 milliliter. It is the smallest one. And I hope that it's not going to melt down my miniatures, at least. I don't know, but it's an enamel. It shouldn't actually be harmful for my plastic miniatures. We'll see. Of course, for a review like this, I have to use something really big with a very nice and smooth surface. And since I deeply hate myself, I decided to use a Imperial Knight for this job. I have already painted the body of the Imperial Knight, but I kept the armor separated from the main body so that it will be more easier to paint it. And I have also already primed it with this Vallejo Gloss Black for two reasons. First, because they didn't actually tell you what kind of primer you have to use. Basically, you can use whatever you want, but since this is technically a metallic paint, I would have to use something black. And the second reason is because I never use this kind of primer, so I technically have a reason to use it. Keep also in mind that Lilac Lilac is not the only color that they manufacture, uh, but I think it is the coolest out there. But they also manufacture green, silver, gold, blue and also red, I guess. But anyway, this intro is went for too many minutes. <laughs> let's just go on the hobby table and let's try out this paint. All right, so this is the little 50 milliliter bottle with our marble effect paint inside. The thing in the bottom is the pigment, which since it's heavier than the medium settles on the bottom. Just a quick shake and it's ready to go. And well, it's just wonderfully mesmerizing, isn't it? Now it's time to see how this paint will behave. 
it's an airbrush ready paint so it doesn't need any thinner in it and when pouring it into my airbrush it doesn't look purple like at all but after spraying it on the armor panel this beautiful and rich metallic purple came out and to be honest I was really tempted to leave it like that but the curiosity of seeing the marble effect was too much in order to obtain it you'll have to use a piece of plastic wrap like this one here but I've also seen in demonstration videos that you can use a plastic bag basically anything that can create all of wrinkles and that doesn't absorb the color too much will work just fine I was a little worried that I would end up making a mess but fortunately it wasn't the case Well, just look at that. The effect is astonishing. I'm very happy about it. Let me paint some more pieces and after they're completely dry, we'll take a better look. Let me just give you a little advice if you are going to ever if you're if you're ever going to use this paint at all be sure to use it in a well ventilated area not like I'm doing here because there is no ventilation at all there are no windows and I'm slowly slowly and painfully dying here even with a heavy-duty mask like the one that I'm using here all right so don't be don't be stupid like this guy here uh, don't don't die because you want to do a YouTube video or just paint a miniature, <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's get on with the videos, right? And here we are, the marble effect is very beautiful. It has a glossy finish that gives an incredible metallic look. I can't wait to paint the rest of the model and to assemble it to see how it looks. Let me do just that and then we'll see the final result. Can I say it, it speak for itself really I painted the other parts of the armor in gold and steel and then I have sprayed the model with a coat of gloss varnish I didn't apply any decals on the armor because well I didn't want to obscure the marble pattern on the model at all I have to say that this paint is absolutely incredible and that I'm definitely gonna use it again in the future So, thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate you to come this far. And, well, this is the first video of the year. It took me a while, actually, to create a new video because there are so many things that are happening right now in my life and I'm trying to do everything at the same time and I am slowly, slowly falling into madness. But a lot of things are changing and you will see, you will see, I have great and beautiful things in the future for you but also for me you will see but anyway i hope you like this video let me know down in the comment what you think about this paint what you think uh, about the effect let me know your impressions 
Also, if you want to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And also down in the description, you will find a link to my Instagram. So follow me there if you also want to see all the miniatures that I paint during the week. And again, thank you very much. We are over 600 subscribers. This is amazing to me. I know this is a very small footstep, but to me, you are too many. <laughs> if I have to be honest, I never thought that a lot of so many people will subscribe to my channel. And well, thank you very much. Anyway, see you the next time. I am Corey and stay safe, my friends. Car body shop. Car body shop. Che cazzo di lingua che è l'inglese? Vabbè. <laughs>